aromatic amino acids three are there they are very important to study aromatic amino acids phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan okay here phenylalanine is essential tyrosine is not essential tryptophan is again essential okay phenylalanine you see here with uh, it, it shows with the uh, symbol f and tyrosine with the y and tryptophan with the w okay so these are the main points regarding uh, aromatic amino acids we'll see one by one so talking about phenylalanine so it is a semi essential amino acid but for time being uh, how come it is semi essential okay so when tyrosine is there in the food okay there is no need of phenylalanine why because phenylalanine is in the diet it can be converted to it can be converted to tyrosine it can be converted to tyrosine the very step the very first step okay the metabolic step of phenylalanine in the body is it has to convert to tyrosine okay so there is enzyme tyrosine synthase or phenylalanine hydroxylase okay the difference between phenylalanine and tyrosine both carry benzene ring okay both carry benzene ring okay tyrosine they what it is have tyrosine hydroxyl group that means i have to add hydroxyl group so the way the what is that phenylalanine hydroxylase the enzyme is phenylalanine hydroxylase in genetic uh, uh, inborn errors okay like genetic disorder like phenylketonuria okay what happens here phenylalanine cannot be converted to tyrosine in that condition tyrosine will become essential if we, our diet is rich of tyrosine we don't require phenylalanine so that's why phenylalanine i have mentioned as a semi essential okay so in that condition tyrosine will become essential otherwise tyrosine is non essential if your food is having a phenylalanine automatically tyrosine is synthesized that means the very st first step of phenylalanine in the body is conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine okay so tyrosine it is a non essential i have mentioned why it is a non essential and what is the difference between phenylalanine and tyrosine tyrosine carries extra hydroxyl group compared to the phenylalanine okay and tyrosine imports slight polarity why because it is having hydroxyl group and having this hydroxyl group in the structure this is also site for phosphorylation okay in the proteins okay so the benzene ring with hydroxyl group what they call phenol okay tyrosine is having a functional group phenol and phenylalanine carries only benzene ring Thy uh, tryptophan it is essential amino acid okay tryptophan is an essential amino acid and what's the functional group it carries indole ring okay indole ring and tryptophan is very very important in synthesis of uh, coenzymes like nadp and nadh okay nadp and nadh and uh, some vitamins like b3 niacin there we require tryptophan for the uh, uh, synthesis okay for the synthesis of these vitamins and coenzymes amino acids so come uh, we are studying about amino acids and how come this amino acid came into the action so when amino group and carboxylic group both are in linkage so in amino acids amino group is separate carboxylic group separate okay that means amino group is present in the left side and carboxylic group present on the right side right so they are not in the linkage but in amino acids these are the type of amino acids where both amino and carboxylic group are in linkage okay both are in ring form both are involved in the ring form you see the structure here this is amino group and this is a carboxylic group and because of the presence of because of the presence of the side chain which allows the ring formation which allows the ring formation a ring formation so two are there proline okay uh, proline and uh, proline mainly uh, example why were uh, uh, the last example for amino acid proline proline is a proline is a best example we can give for amino acid 